grocery haul time. So, welcome to the video, everyone. Going to show you all what I bought from a grocery store and what I typically buy from a grocery store when I'm bulking. So right now my macros are fairly, fairly high, um, over 500 carbs daily right now. So I buy a lot of things to kind of fill in that are low fat for carbs and stuff like that. So instead of placing everything out, I gotta put everything in the freezer and fridge. So I'm gonna go through it fairly quickly. Um, so I have some ice cream here by Brayers. I typically buy fat-free ice cream and eat about half a tub a day. Um, bulking gets expensive. Then I have these hash browns, frozen hash browns that I kind of stir fry with eggs and stuff. Zero fat, these are really, really good. 16 carbs per serving. Uh, two trays of chicken breast tenderloins. A whole box of Rice Krispies because these are the best snacks in the world. What do we got? Um, Maple walnut Walden Farm syrup for my French toast recipe. If you guys don't already know about it, go check it out. It's on my channel. This is key to my French toast. Then we have some Taco Bell hot sauce because hot sauce is life. Buy like four or five of those bottles. They're only like a dollar each. Um, high carbs. So I buy the bigger, bulkier bags of cereal. These are just the honey nut flavor ones. Super simple. Uh, I got some mission wraps right here to make my burritos and stuff like that. I haven't been making burritos, but I'm going to start making them. So here we go. Uh, gonna run through this fairly quickly. I have a lot of stuff. Some 99 one ground turkey because I am trying to, you know, just get more protein out of it. Uh, 99 one is not dry if you know how to cook it correctly. Most people say it's too dry it's because they're overcooking it, or well, they just don't know how to cook it. Some more hot sauce here. Uh, my brother bought some, this is wild caught salmon. I don't eat farm raised salmon because it's terrible for you. So wild caught salmon, uh, some top, top sirloin steak from the deli. So this is like the prime cut. We got some 96.4 ground beef here. This is kind of like everywhere. It's really staggered right now. Frozen fruits, more French or more hash browns. Uh, four boxes of strawberries because I eat a lot of strawberries. We have vegetables, we have spinach, we have broccoli here. Let's see what else. Let's try and go through it fairly quickly. So you guys don't just I'm bored in the video. We have uh ooh, Brayer's strawberry cheesecake ice cream. Super super good macros, only four fat and 20 carb per serving, so really good macros. We have egg whites, because I love my egg whites, and for French toast. We got milk, we have almond milk, almond coconut milk, and some chocolate milk. Uh, we have waffle cones for my uh, ice cream, and these are also zero fat, so good for carbs as well. I usually eat like three per day. And then we have some taco shells for Taco Bell, because I'm gonna be making Taco Bell tacos. We have a big bag of nectarines, we have blueberries, and last bag is some chips, and a bag of tomatoes. So that's pretty much it. I know I ran through it fairly quickly. Oh, and we have this freaking giant jackfruit, which is like an exotic fruit that we bought. Asians know what this is, but this is pretty much gonna conclude the little grocery haul. I kind of ran through it fairly quickly. Um, if you guys have any questions, comment in the comment section below, and, um, that's pretty much it for the grocery haul. This is, it totaled out to be $287. Mm. $287. Uh, and uh, yeah, guys, it's gonna last me about a week and a half. All right, guys, I am back with a commentary voiceover. I haven't really done one in a very long time. I feel like I've been very inconsistent on YouTube and obviously um, my views are definitely showing. My progression is showing. So I really, really apologize. I'm coming back in full force, guys. I promise you guys. Um, two, two videos in a row. This is the second video in a row. And um, thank you all for tuning in. For those of you who have not stopped showing me the support. So I am back with a push day for you all. A lot of people have been wanting to see my push day. So I figured might as well show a um, commentary along with it. And um, so today I hit push by myself. And some of those days where, you know, I just want to train by myself, man. And some days you just need to train by yourself because you know when you train by yourself, sometimes you you got your own pace, and uh, you know 
you can come up with different things or you just like are spontaneous with different exercises but with a workout partner sometimes you need it to be more structured obviously and so today i started off with incline dumbbell bench press went with uh, four sets of two with hundreds and then i did back down sets with three sets of eight with uh, the 70s and i think that these dumbbells are just like maybe a little bit heavier i don't know or maybe that's just me the grips are definitely thicker so it's a little bit harder um but i haven't been doing incline this high in a very long time so maybe that's why too or i'm just weak and i need to get stronger maybe <laughs> uh, but second exercise was the incline dumbbell flies and this is an exercise that i haven't done in ages i haven't done this in forever and i gotta say like the stretch is definitely different than cables um there's something about free weights that just like creates a different type of tension but um really really liked it did four sets of 12 here and i'm trying not to bend my arms but you know when you're performing the movement you don't feel like you're bending arms but now that i'm looking at it i'm bending my arms a little bit too much as you see i'm trying to correct it here but it's hard man it's honestly hard and so that's why i typically do dumbbell flies or dumbbell presses more than flies but third movement here is this incline hammer strength press i only do two plays on this because well by this time my, my chest is on fire like i did three different this is my third different exercise but i've already done over 10 sets of working sets on dumbbell press and flies but two plates here and uh really really like this movement this is a machine that was at this gym already before alpha Lee took it over this is an incredible machine just everything about the range of motion is really really good plus it's in front of a mirror so i can kind of see my form and the imbalances and everything and then i'm gonna talk about this little thing right here this little fly that i came up with like today and this is why sometimes i like training alone because you can kind of experiment with the different exercises now if you see i'm doing flies uh i'm doing four to five reps you know left hand on top and then four to five reps right hand on top and then my last four to five reps will be just even flies and damn guys i'm trying to grow my inner chest because i feel like my inner chest is really weak even though you can't target it specifically you know you can kind of target it uh indirectly in some way so um my chest is on fire like right now as i'm doing this commentary my chest is cramping so after that i did three sets of that and then i moved on to the single arm to where i'm extending past the midway point as you see and i'm squeezing my chest literally with my biceps pushing it together as much as possible and the pump the burn was unreal guys you have no idea and you know use very very lightweight i think i had like 20 pounds on the cable and uh like it it's undescribable honestly you have to really try it yourself because um, after watching these videos and like re-watching my videos and stuff like that, I'm noticing that my inner pecs lack a lot of fullness. And that's why my chest looks really, really weak. Um, but in reality, I have a decent sized chest in my opinion, especially for my, my size or my frame. But uh, you be the judge of that. So I'm really trying to focus on um, kind of doing whatever I can, like the, the movements that target indirectly your inner chest obviously because your your chest moves as one so it's hard to target one point at a time but that was it that concluded the chest movements so we moved on to shoulders in which i've been doing ohp for very very um religiously because i really want to grow my delts i, I feel like my delts as a natural bodybuilder like it's so hard to grow your weak points and so i'm putting a lot of emphasis on that so I did six sets of five. This is my last set on OHP with only 95 pounds. Uh, but, you know, all the pressing movements, my delts are on fire. So just six sets of five with 95 pounds. Then I moved on to these lateral raises in which I placed the dumbbells. If you see here, I don't know Raymond didn't really record it, but I placed the dumbbells in front of me. So every single time I'm performing a rep, I'm kind of twisting my hands and I'm getting a better how do you say contraction on the medial deltoid which is really really good i just have 20 pounds there and i did six sets of 10 to 12 reps so every single time um i'm not using momentum obviously you can kind of tell that i'm not really using momentum and uh six sets of that killed me <laughs> and i i know i say like i'm burned out a lot 
but in reality like the volume that I do guys now that I'm in a caloric surplus I do a lot more different exercises I do a lot more volume than I ever have done in my entire life because in this time um, in this period right now, I'm eating more than I have been in my entire life. 500 something carbs on the daily. I'm talking about consistently and increasing every three to four days, which is remarkable. Um, then we move on to the superset, which is a four exercise. It's two exercises, but I did both exercises twice, which is a single arm uh, cable push down superset with these reverse. I, I don't know, I faced like the seat instead of facing outward, but it was a shoulder press in which I treated kind of like an OHP. And so I did, uh, I think, 10 to 12 reps per, <laughs> you see me shaking my head, my triceps are burning. Um, 10 to 12 reps per arm, and then I did 10 to 12 reps for the OHP, which is, I mean, look at, look at the weight stack I'm doing. I think it's like only 25 pounds, but it was, the burn was crazy. So I'm kind of, starting to incorporate a lot more supersets um, with opposing, not not opposing, uh, but complementing uh, muscle groups to kind of get that extra burn and extra fatigue in there because my recovery is definitely a lot greater now that, now that I've finally um, reached a caloric surplus per se. So I have more food to recover from and uh, just more energy in general. So that's why I'm kind of training like this. No specific reason. Obviously, I still have my power movements in which I do care about the strength. But in reality, like when I get down to the machines and later on towards the workout, I'm not really caring about the strength as much, if that makes sense. So this is the second superset that I did um, in which it's just machine dips and machine lateral raises just to hit the triceps and super, uh, triceps and shoulder superset again just to kind of completely destroy it because at this time, I'm not going to do any more chest movements. My chest was annihilated. Like... It was, this was such a great workout and I finished all of these exercises um, in a little bit under an hour and a half which was good because I did a ton of exercises, ton of sets too. So hope you enjoyed uh, this little push workout that I literally pushed to the limit. Um, but always be structured, always you know kind of program your stuff. But hope you all enjoyed this workout. Hope you can take away something from it. And uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Workout finish. I didn't really show you guys after I work out every single day. I play basketball outside. So I'm going to take you guys outside. We're, we're going to hoop a little bit, get some cardio in it. And to be honest, this is how I stay lean. Because uh, otherwise, I'd just be fat again for all the, all the calories I eat. No point in making the first ball. Oh, dang, that's clean. Yeah, you like going for the first ball. Damn it. I don't know who you are. You're out for it. Is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he missed it. That's in there. Yo, he missed it. Oh, oh, I made it. Oh, 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 oh,